Let's go into paper 52, name 2, 201 site. Question 2. The speed at which an electrical impulse travels along a nerve can be determined by carrying out a nerve conduction velocity and freeway test. This is to test on the speed of nerve impulses traveling down the nerve. How the nerve will send the electrical impulses more quickly compared to damaged nerve. Surface electrodes are placed on skin over nerve at various locations. As you can see in this figure 2.1, you have surface electrode that is placed on the skin. And this surface electrode produces a very mild electrical charge which stimulates the nerve. So this is used as stimulator. The resulting electrical activity in the nerve is measured by recording electrode. So you have another electrode that is used to record the speed of the nerve impulse transmission. The distance between electrodes and the time it takes for electrical impulses to travel between them are used to determine the nerve conduction velocity. Figure 2.1 shows how the MCV is measured in the ulnar nerve of human arm. So you can see there are two electrodes placed on the skin. One is to stimulate the nerve, another one is to record the stimulation. An investigation is used to measure MCV in the ulnar nerve in females of different ages was carried out on 394 individuals. So this experiment dependent variable is the nerve conduction velocity. They only look into female, so this is constant variable. They look into the female of different ages. This is independent variable. So mean in this case, they want to look into how the effect of age on MCB. They have 394 individuals, meaning the sample size are very big, so the data is reliable. Suggest three variables which the investigator should, be, should have standardized. So in this case, you only want to look into the effect of age on nerve conduction velocity, but not other factors. So other factors that may have effect on the results need to be constant. So what is the other factor that will affect MCV besides age? Body mass. Or body weight. Those people that have high body max index or high BMI, usually they have lower MCV. So body mass will affect on MCV. Medical consumptions. Make sure all participants do not take medications that will affect on nerve conduction velocity. Alcohol consumption. Make sure all participants do not take alcohol before the experiment. Smoking status. The chemical in the smoke will lower down the nerve conduction velocity. So need to be constant, make sure the participants are non smoker. Ethnicity. 
different ethnic will have different ancillary. Make sure all participants use the same handler. For example, right handler. We do the experiment on no conduction velocity test. Different fan will have different MCV results. Make sure all participants do not have medical conditions that will affect nerve conduction. Make sure all subjects do not suffer from any neuromuscular disease. Then, arm tested. The repeated test. Same electrical charge used. Electrical charge uh, should be the same for all participants. That is used to stimulate the nerve. Volunteer not moving during the test. The test should be performed when participants are sitting or laying down. Same number of volunteers in each age category. So you can just choose at any three of these variables. Table 2.1 shows the results of this investigation. You have age category over years, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, and 70 to 79 age category. You can see in age category of 30 to 39, the mean conduction velocity is 54.3 plus and minus 1.2. At the confidence limit, is of 51.9 for lower limit and the upper limit is 56.7. So this is the result mid conduction velocity for all the age group. This is the confidence limit for all the age group. Confidence limits are the number at the maximum and minimum end of a confidence interval. These confidence limits will tell you how accurate your estimate of mean is likely to be. If you look into the increasing age category and look into the mean conduction velocity, you can see 
increased age or aging will cause reductions in mean conduction velocity. SM is standard error. Standard error is allowed you to measure the spread of data. So it can help to estimate the reliability of mean of a population sample. If you have small standard error, it, it, it is indicates that the mean value is close to actual mean of a population. The confidence limits is equals to mean plus and minus two standard error. Using this formula to calculate the missing confidence limit, use the space below for any working and enter your answer in table 2.1. So you only need to fill in for the age group of 60 to 69. So you need to calculate upper and lower limit. Let's start with upper limit. Upper limit equals to mean plus 2SM. Mean value for age category of 60 to 69 is 52.2 standard error is 6 is 0 0.675 so it is equals to 53.55 enter the answer in table 2.1 this is 53.55 for lower limit it is equals to mean minus 2 s m also equals to 52.2 minus 2 times with 0 0.675. So the lower limit is 50.85. One conclusion from this data is that mean conduction velocity in the ulnar nerve vary significantly with age. Clue for you to know whether the difference is significant, you can look into the confidence limits or standard deviation. So you need to look into these standard deviations or confidence limits. If there is no overlapping of the value, means significant difference. So you need to choose two age category that is no overlapping in their mean conduction velocity value. Then only you can say the difference among them is significant. So example, um, for age group 30 to 39, the value is between 51.9 to 56.7. So you need to choose the age, uh, the mean conduction velocity that is not have does not have the durations between this value. So this is overlapping. This is also overlapping. This is over, also overlapping with the age category 30 to 39. This is not overlapping. 
because the value is only 46.85 to 51.15. So you can write the age category 30 to 39 and 70 to 79. The reason is because there is no overlapping. of confidence limit. Or no overlapping of the standard error. If there are no overlapping, it means it is significant different. But anyhow, this confidence limit or standard error can give you clue about statistical significance. You must actually perform a statistical test to draw a valid conclusion. So the next step for this is to carry out a statistical test to further confirm the conclusion, saying that the mean conduction's velocity in the ulnar nerve is very significantly with each. What is the test that you need to perform? Answer is t-test. Reason? This is because t-test is used to compare two mean if they are significantly different. And t-test is usually used when data normally distributed or data are near to the mean value. So in this case, you can see the data are normally distributed around 54.3 plus and minus 1.2. So this is the mean value. All the data is near to the mean value. So you can talk about if the data is normally distributed or normal distributions of data. And another reason um, you can give if the t-test is performed is because of continuous data. Set a null hypothesis for this test. There is no significant difference between the mean conduction velocities of individuals from different age groups. That one reason why the result of the investigations were considered to be reliable because of large sample size. Or high number of people tested. 